This, my friends, is Grillbys, located in the world's Snowden town by Lotus, made by the user, uh, Lotus, an Undertale world where the location Snowden town from the game is recreated in VR chat. When you arrive, you have to walk across the main plaza, which, like the entire town, is covered in snow and a bit Christmas themed, to get to the cafe. Inside, there are a few tables and a counter straight ahead, and when you turn to the left a bit, a big front window with a great view, as well as some nice booths. My guest today is my friend Vox, with whom I share a long history. He was part of my VR chat life since two years ago, and part of my channel's reoccurring guests since the second podcast, where we did a very cringy dad joke compilation. Just like back in the day with Doomshroom, we will be dwelling in nostalgia a bit, among other things. As for why I chose this cafe, Vox is a huge fan of Undertale, almost always sporting such an avatar, so I figured it'd be the perfect choice. Now, even though I have never played Undertale, I know there are a few places where the old nostalgic game graphics are better recreated and where the cafe is more accurate to what it looked like in the game, but honestly, I wanted to go to a version of the restaurant where you can look through the window and, frankly speaking, no other version had that. Hello there, it is I, Reincarnator, and this is Idiots in VR, getting coffee. Hello there, welcome Vox to Idiots in VR Getting Coffee, where idiots in VR are getting coffee, as you can see. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Mm. Thank you for having me. As I always say, um, I do not know you, my producers just put people here, so maybe in the beginning it's a little bit awkward, but I promise we will warm up to each other in the in the course of this video. Two years of a makey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess, um, yeah, I guess we'll start with the most um, normal question, which is always the first question. How did you even get into the Archer box? It's a very good question. Now... Obviously, like many other people who are within the same, I guess you could say, group as I am, we've really looked onto the internet to find things that really interest us, and before I even had my PC that I have now, or any PC, mind you, mm -hmm. I've seen videos of people who play VR chat and like all the different kinds of things that they could, you know, do and become. And I was like, man, that looks so fucking cool because like I want to be able to become pretty much any fantasy character I want. Like I, in, I like being so that's probably one of the biggest reasons and also it was pretty much like almost everybody that plays this game it's a place where for all of us who have problems with you know like talking to other people and we have like a, a kind of fright whenever we do that kind of thing I've always really wanted to try and make friends, find people, and do that kind of thing. So finally, after waiting so long just to get a PC in general, finally, I get my headset for Christmas, I join, and here I am now. Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, fuck me up. So the next question which I have here on my um, red lining list here, which has like topics, basically all something I ask everybody who joins, um, and I know this is a little bit difficult because you are not really actively playing VR a lot right now, but what are you doing, like what do you like doing the most in VR chat at the moment? So whenever I'm on VR chat, I like to go to go to avatar worlds and look for the best avatars that I can because obviously with going on to like an avatar search world, you're not going to find everything that you could, which kind of sucks because I feel like VR chat in general should have like an avatar search thing. Because I get what they're trying to go with, where they want you to go to other worlds, spend time in those worlds, go for the avatars that might and be explore, in them, yeah. and then 
Yeah, rather than just sit there, search up the avatars, and then, yeah. But that's probably one thing that I do like to do a lot whenever I'm on VRChat. Other than that, I'm world hopping, trying to spend time with friends, and other stuff I don't think I can normally say on a YouTube video, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> Because <laughs> I got those kinds of friends that like to do that kind of thing, so... Ah, uh, you mean the... <laughs> Great food technique! <laughs> no, uh... Ah, 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 you, you... <laughs> I know now what you mean. You mean... There you go! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> okay, good. Vox, this next one is gonna be very interesting because it's the same question I asked Doomfrim because I literally cannot remember anymore where did That's we meet L like how did we meet again ah uh, yes <laughs> I forgot I forgot question. oh yeah no I know now so this was back when kitty huh I, I remember one of my friends, can't really remember the name because I've got fucking... Oh, I think I got it now, I got it, I got it, I got it! It was back in the day when we were like in Haspen Hotel Avatar World, so I just met you and you were just in a Vox Avatar doing an, doing like a... You, you, you played a recording of this comedian, um, remember? Um, who was like complaining about everything, about planes, about... Um, about... You know this? You remember this? Or no, 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 that was a different one. That one was like after the fact. Watching, it, it, it was either we were watching videos or something? Yeah, we were watching or Has Been Hotel, was... um, like headcanon voices. And um, we were made, and I made yeah. like a video out of that for my second channel. Um, you can find that up there in the in the, in the the corner, guys, by the way, if you want to see that. It's it's a little bit Whichever fun, corner. but it's super old, like that. that's fucking old. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that the was yeah. the one that I first. Nah, but I, it, it wasn't the Al. it wasn't the first time we met you. I think I think um, I met you before that, but that was the first time you were part of a video of mine. I think actually uh, the first time we I met was know. like when we were, you were doing that comedian bit, like in uh, in a world, and then we just friended each other. Either that, or it was like a fucking um, oh, what the. Okay, so it was either that or a uh, some sort of singing thing. I don't know. And one of the, one of the most like um uh like deepest parts actually. You're like one of the main um members of when it comes to the um channel crew at least. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well. uh... Anyway, um, yeah, that, yeah, we'll but you know, you can that. tell that we're good friends by us not even being able to recall exactly when we met because it's just so natural to us that we know each other that we just fucking forgot when we actually met. So that's a good indicator that we're a friend, good then friends. We have early stage Alzheimer's, so that kind of also helps <laughs> with not being able to remember. So yeah, you know. Yeah, um, that's actually <laughs> the. I do because I can't remember. That's actually the fault of the coffee, you know. Um, I'm I'm not telling this to anyone, but this coffee is spiced with a very rare drug that makes people forget about everything that we have talked here, and apparently you've drank a little bit too much. That joke's on you, I forget everything anyway, so... I'll probably forget that we even did this about a month from now, so... Did what? No. <laughs> what? Huh? Where am I? Well, what is this place? Who, Who am I? Why is there snow outside? Anyways... <laughs> Why is there snow? <laughs> It's actually good that we already talked about this because it's like a smooth, like, um, you know, going up to the next topic. Transition. Transition! <laughs> yeah, transition. <laughs> and basically, um, the next topic is our first podcast. And the first official podcast on the main channel reencounter, which you've been part of, was the Dad Joke compilation, which was the cringiest shit we've ever done. Uh, yes. <laughs> but it was so that funny. That was probably one of the most ridiculous things because it didn't even end up being Dad. Well. And it did have dad jokes, but then it kind of just transitioned into insults. Yeah, in the end we were just we were just doing Vox jokes. Yeah, you guys were doing Vox jokes, and I was doing edgy humor. 
But it went from genuine fucking dad jokes to, oh yeah, let's fuck with Vox and let's let Vox say some fucked up shit. Because I think that's all we had to do. I think I'll even um, cut out a few jokes that you did, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because some of them were so fucking bad. Yeah. And actually, fun fact about that. In the midst of, like, the intermission between my turns, I had a YouTube video that I was watching up, or, or that I was watching to get these jokes, <laughs> because it was a try not to laugh edgy humor. Oh my. And somebody in the background was saying these jokes. You cheated. And then I was taking probably the best ones that I heard, and I was saying them out. Now, granted, since I have a fucking... I can't speak properly, I <coughs> butchered Sorry. pretty much each and every one, but... <laughs> I would say that some of them were pretty damn good. Yeah, this is like... Um, yeah, then the next podcast we did was to talk about the current generation in which we could really, like, rant about... I think we had, like, the idea because we just... We're talking so much about this tiktok trend um um you know where they stole bathrooms and stuff and then i said like we have to make yeah. like a, we want we need to record ourselves just talk about this shit and then the next part it was um also that was the last podcast where bear was part of because after that she just started to was super busy and couldn't make it anymore sadly and but then the next podcast was yeah, way 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 in the future <laughs> um that was actually this year the next podcast when i'm um, like I think before the summer or like during the first week of summer or something where we talked about um, things yeah. that annoy us literally <laughs> just things that annoy us oh yeah the thing with fucking tiktok and all that bullshit yeah. because <laughs> and the latest <laughs> podcast yeah the latest podcast we, would, we had was the halloween podcast with the spooky stories that was that's actually yeah, not that long ago that. The next thing we would talk about is something that we actually mentioned before and we started recording and that is like the dying of communities and I have specifically written down because that's where I met you. The Haspin Hotel community in VR chat. I remember back in the day when I was a huge thing, everybody was wearing Haspin Hotel avatars, there was a huge community and now it just kind of died down in my opinion or at least I haven't seen as many anymore and I don't know if it's just my um, like perception <laughs> or if it do you think it really died like it's, because it's in general because I've realized this with quite a few different fandoms in general because one thing I've realized when it comes to well there are two reasons for why they're dying out for one it could either be because of the game or because VR chat itself is pretty much dying and not enough people who do like Hasman Hotel or Undertale in this case are, 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 are playing the game anymore. Mm. Or it's because the specific thing, like, or the specific fandom in general, that, or the specific thing that the fandom is based off of is like dying in a sense. Because like with Hasman Hotel, people have been waiting for the first episode of Hasman Hotel for three what, years. Three years now? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's fucking ridiculous. You'd think that we would have it by now, but we don't. So at least we now finally got that, like something. We got the we now got like yeah. the the first seasons and the second seasons already planned too, and it's gonna be on Prime. Like I I didn't expect this at all. And after all this y years of waiting, I I'm still fucking hyped for it. I'm I cannot wait to finally see it. And I'm glad that they are actually putting out Hell of a Boss in the meantime, so it doesn't, so the channel doesn't die. And the Hell of a Boss content has really yeah, gotten to I'm a. Pretty damn sure if 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 Hell of a Boss was like taking forever to do, then I'm fairly certain people would have just given up. On yeah, it. they would have lost interest. But it's incredible. After... It's incredible how high quality um, Hell of a Boss has become. You know. It started off as just this like indie thing, and now they made like they make animations like, and and it's it's just incredible how how well and smooth it is by yeah. now. And then that also kind of brings into the whole thing with like the glitch X uh, event thing with all these other indie animations and stuff. Yeah, which is kind of awesome because it really shows how 
there are people out there more willing to fucking make some or make an animation movie what have you that's actually good rather than just for the fucking money cough cough every fucking big corporation ever <laughs> cough cough <laughs> fucking disney pixar all that bullshit it's like Blizzard. why <laughs> exactly like <laughs> come on you got to like <sighs> Um, let's let's talk about something real quick, um, which is that you, Vox, are a friend of mine who has some of the strongest opinions that I know. And by that I mean that you are very easily annoyed by a lot of things. <laughs> so. Yeah, part of, part of me being very easily annoyed by things and... To, to an extent, I do kind of hate how I get annoyed very easily with things, but a lot of it has to do with the family I come from and our very strong opinions on how things go and like what we deal with on a daily basis. It's just like with TikTok. I absolutely fucking hate TikTok. Yeah, me too. Of, well, it's I... just everything to do with it. Because of the because uh, of the type of bullshit that it causes people to do, how our generation is so fucking stupid, yet we do the dumbest things for clout, and it's just. I mean, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even so. I wouldn't even say that. You know, um, technology can be good because I mean, back in the day, you know, imagine you wanted to know something. Now you can just look that up, and this way you can easily figure out something. The fact is that so many people use technology in the wrong way. Like they use it to watch stupid shit. They watch it to. They use it to watch um stuff which spreads information that is not confirmed, that is not real, and then they believe it. I mean, remember the fucking Tide Pod challenge on TikTok, and people were just fucking starting to eat Tide Pods f just because people were doing that on TikTok without even, like, informing themselves I... good enough. The internet gives us the ability to inform ourselves, but we ourselves are too stupid to inform ourselves, which is fucking um, sad. Because, um, because people only want to look for the thing that entertains them the most, or they only want to see what they like, and if they don't like it, then they're gonna go batshit insane with their Oh, I have an opinion, and I think that my opinion matters, even though it means fuck all because of the amount of people that exist on the fucking internet so and now, I'm just gonna bitch cry and whine about it. And now we can put that same perspective on us because now you say like people like to watch what they like and that's basically what we just said you know. We don't think that what they're doing is good but um, in my opinion I don't like it's a difficult topic because now people would say you know you can just put the same logic on you you know um, you can say well, exactly. I don't like it, but they like it, so let them like it. But I just think that <laughs> what they like is self-destructive. <laughs> Ours is just destructive. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> yeah, this is already going into becoming a Sir Pillow skit, so I'm... <laughs> I think we should probably move along before we start yeah. screaming and slamming our hands on our tables. So the first one basically is just... Are you, like, part of any groups in VR chat ever since that group update came out, Vox, or, or not? Uh, man, I just kind of do whatever. I don't really give a shit. Like, mm. eh, I don't know. It's, I don't really have much to say for this one, if I'm being honest. Anyway, we're drifting way off. We're back now to the point where I asked you if you want to have something in thing. You said no. Okay, you don't want any in the description. So, guys, um, as always, check out the description to not find him there. Uh, <laughs> Vox. Exactly. Vox. Do not look for me. Vox, thank you so much for being at Idiots in VR Getting Coffee, where Idiots in VR got coffee. And how about we do just one last two? Yeah. One, 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 one last two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. There we go. Oh, come here. <laughs> do, do people say cheers when they drink coffee? Standing by the windowsill 
blinding rays of sunshine filter through against my will. It's a thought I can't erase. Better draw it just in case while my vision's still in place. There's something that 